Hey, 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 day four of our Facebook mini course. I'm super excited to come to you with today's homework challenge, whatever you want to call it. It is literally taking you from where your Facebook was to where it's going to impact millions of more people that are waiting for you to share your value, share what you have to offer them, help them grow and help them become the people they deserve to be, right? So yesterday we talked about content in your posts and in your graphics, which are all super important, right? You know, creating value, knowing what day of the week and what time of the day you're posting, knowing you want to put value out there and who you are because we're building that likability, knowability, and trust factor, right? We're not here to spam or to blast sales, you know, graphics all over the place. Nobody looks at those. If they do, they do it a couple times and then they scroll right past. We want them to come to your page and stay a while, right? The longer somebody is there, the more often they come to visit, that means the more impact you're having, which is gonna lead to them becoming one of your business partners, your customers, or whatever business you're in. It is gonna help you grow your business from using social media. So let's talk about the, in my opinion, really big impactor. And it's about to scare a lot of you. A lot of you will be like, right? You just thought I froze. No, I was literally frozen because that's what y'all are about to do. So the thing most people fear when it comes to social media is live video. So I want to talk to you guys about how important this truly is to help grow your impact. So when you go live, Facebook says, woo, let's share it with everybody they know. And it blasts it all over to so many people's timelines. When you post something, it goes to a little bit. It's like, oh, we're just going to do a little bit of sifting and putting it in the news feeds. When you go live, it's like, whoosh, it goes everywhere. More people will see it in their timeline than a post or a graphic. So when you want to make a big difference and you want to get your message out to more people, would you choose to do a post or a video? We're not talking about fear here. We're talking about if you're gonna impact the most people. Are you gonna do a video or a post? I did that backwards. When I'm wanting to impact more people, reach more people, get the word out to more people, I will always choose video. Now there's some things with video that you want to be, you know, more aware of. I don't want to say it's a make or break because it really isn't, but it does improve the amount of views, likes, comments you get on videos by doing just a few things. So the first thing is what are you titling it? Just don't go live without putting something above. Why would somebody watch it? They don't even know what this is about, right? So at the top, make sure you put a very catchy title or something that'll be like, hmm, I wonder what she or he's going to talk about tonight. This is an interesting topic. I got to watch this. Ooh, this is going to get juicy. Like, I got to watch this, right? You got those people. So you just seen a little glimpse of what people do when they see that topic. Okay? So, you know, get catchy with your topics. Don't ever go live without doing a topic. Or number one, I'm probably not going to watch it because I'm like, why would I waste my time? It's an eight-minute video and I don't even know what it's about. So I'm not even going to start it. Just being honest here, people, just being real with you. So that's the big thing. Second thing is, you know, I always look to see what are my surroundings. Right now I'm surrounded by like white wall, well, gray wall. Pretty boring, right? But it's clean, it's crisp, it's, it's nice. Second thing is I have good lighting. This doesn't mean it has to be expensive. This light I have in front of me is $19. It also holds my phone over here. It's a pretty cool deal. Um, you can get those off of the resources side, but natural lighting from your window coming in. The last, you know, like here's this. This is what I look like right now. And it's still okay. This would not break my video, right? You can still see my face. It still looks okay. But this just kind of makes it look a little nicer. Now you see the difference. So a little bit of lighting. Um, I get all my stuff off Amazon. 
Um, but the background, you know, your surroundings, what's behind you. Obviously, if you're doing it in your house, totally cool. I'm in my office. Awesome. But you don't want like a pile of dishes back here or like a load of laundry, maybe your underwear and bra hanging out. Like you don't want that in your video, I guess, unless that's your topic. Maybe. So those are just some big things to think about before we even get into doing your video. So what's the name of your video? What's your topic? What's going to grab them to watch it? What your background surroundings look like? what your lighting is. I like to use these um, mic'd headphones because it keeps the sound very crisp, clear, and I don't have to yell, and it helps block my outside noise. So it's a really cool thing, a cool thing to have for doing your videos, just some mic'd headphones, um, earbuds. And um, the other thing that I'm gonna say before we get into the content of the video and how to kind of engage and, and really build those videos up is to, you know, know what your set, your, your noise level is around you. Now, if your noise le level's pretty high and you're talking about a serious topic, doesn't make sense, right? Maybe ch choose another time to go live about that topic. But if it makes sense for what your topic is, maybe you're, you know, we're at a monster truck rally and I'm, I'm talking about ha making memories with my kids and how time freedom is, is allowed me to do this, then that kind of makes sense because I'm talking about making memories at the Monster Jam with my kids. But I wouldn't be at the Monster Jam going live and talking about how to do Facebook Lives. Doesn't make any sense, hold on guys. Jacoby, your headphones are not in. Teaching them young, teaching them young. All right, so that is the basics. Pretty simple, right? Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Stability, you don't want to be like running and, and being crazy, Blair Witch Project. It'll make people go crazy and they'll stop watching it because it's like making them sick. Good content, but too wiggly might make somebody sick. Guys, those are just the basics. That creates a strong foundation for you to have a lot of viewers without even having good content, right? So people will watch it because it's good lighting, good title, good noise or sound and it has awesome background you know it's quiet people will watch it just because of that you're already winning now let's get into the juicy part the content so i will give you the number one most important tip don't forget it never wait for viewers to come on have you ever watched a video or started to watch a video where they're like, hi everyone, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to come live with you. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes till I get somebody on here to watch with, to talk to. All right, I'm gonna wait just a couple more minutes. Um, Facebook's doing its thing, I'm gonna be right back. Um, I'm excited to talk to you guys about my topic. 20 more seconds go by. I have literally wasted a minute of my time because you're waiting for people to get on. When I'm sitting there going, hello, I'm here. Just start talking. So some people will wait it out with you. Some people like myself won't. So you can do it either way. But my number one tip is to just get into the content, get into talking. Now there's some strategy in here and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about that. So when you get started, I always say, hello, I'm super excited to be here, I'm Natasha Robertson. Today we're gonna talk about X, Y, and Z. I'm so excited to start sharing those, um, that details with you, teach you, show you, journey, whatever, blah, 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 blah. As you're popping on, let me know where you're watching from and just drop in the comments, let me know you're watching. My, what, you know, it's beautiful here in Michigan and I'd love to know what the weather's like where you are. And so, I am getting, let's jump into this. So that was a little bit, y'all have heard mine. I'm just kind of trying to role play here a little bit with you. But you see how I wasted time to allow viewers to pop on, but I didn't waste your time. I was still chit chatting. I was creating engagement from the moment I got started. Now here's the, here's the cool thing. When you start engaging, with people and people start making comments on your videos once you start Facebook says oh she went live and people like it we're gonna share it with even more people so it's a win-win guys you 
sit there and you're engaging, you're talking to people, you've got them involved in your video from the moment you get started, and Facebook loves that. So that's how you get started and still have that time. Never do I say, okay guys, I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds, couple minutes, just another minute until more people jump on here. No, because you always gotta remember that majority of your, your viewers are gonna be replay anyways. So I'm always talking to the people who aren't with me live, as well as my live viewers, but I'm talking to those that are gonna watch it later. And I wanna get started. And in the very beginning of your video, you always want to let them know what the video will be about so they can decide, am I gonna keep watching it because it's something I wanna know about, or am I gonna just not watch this one? So you respect people's time, bottom line, okay? So let's talk about the content. I always like to give a structured content. I never like to have a, you know, a no plan per se, but I like to know, okay, I'm gonna talk about the five top things that are gonna help you crush it on your next live video. So I know the number one, the number two, the number three, and the number four, number five, right? Because I've written them down. And I'll talk about each of those. And then I always am talking to them. So the biggest thing you can do is know, so um, you know, whatever your topic might be, maybe it's about a childhood memory. You know what memory you're wanting to talk about, but do you know what questions you wanna ask your viewers to get them to engage? Because the more engagement you have, the more views you'll get. Because people will see that there's value and there's something they need to watch, right? So while I'm sharing my content, my value, my story, I already know, because I've written them down on my journal, my planner, my notebook that's in front of me, I already know what questions I'm gonna ask within my conversation with them. So anytime I might go, you know, oh my gosh, have any of you had this happen to you? Please don't let me be the only one. I know I'm not the only one, but you gotta tell me. Drop in the comments if this has happened to you. So blah, 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 blah. I was so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, like please tell me I'm not alone. All right, guys, I made them part of it. I let them be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I've had that happen to me too. So throughout your video, you wanna have those moments where you're talking back and forth to the people. And sometimes they'll comment, sometimes they won't. It's totally fine, but you do want to get engagement, okay? And then there's always call to actions, right? So a call to action is drop in the comments, please tell me I'm not alone, oh my gosh, or hit the share button. If this was valuable to you, please hit the share button, share it with your network, and let others get this information that you, you, know, you just received and that will help them grow in blah, 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 blah. I don't know what you would say because I don't know what your topic will be, but there's always call to actions and there's always questions and engagement. And don't freak out. It's kind of weird at first, right? You'll see a lot of people say, you know, if you agree, drop a one in the comments. That's how I started. I started with asking people to drop numbers in the comments. Then I got more comfortable and I was like, you know what, I wanna to talk to them. I want them to respond with words because that's more of a conversation. And so that's where it led to. So as you get started, you can use the, hey, drop a one if you're watching this live, drop a two if you are watching the replay. I'm super excited about today's topic, blah, 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 blah. And let's jump into this. So many of you, you know, have had this happen in your past, and I want you to drop a three in the comments if you have had this happen to you. And please tell me I'm not alone. I hope to see some threes down there. So let's get, you know, and then you go into it. And then you can create engagement and questions. I hope that all makes sense. As you do it, it's a add it and trial and error type thing. You'll get super comfortable with it, I promise, as you continue to do it in your videos. If you don't do videos, you'll never get comfortable. So are you going to do some video? Because you're going to reach more people, you're going to have more impact, and you are going to watch your Facebook explode with positivity, encouragement, and you're just going to be in a happy place. I'm just telling you. It's happened to me. So that's how I can tell you it's going to happen to you. Um, all right. So like I said, that is what is important in your videos is your title, your background, 
your lighting, give or take. Just don't make, you know, you just don't want to be super dark. Your sound, the sound around you, those are pretty important to start it. Then when you get started, create some engagement to waste time in the beginning. Awesome, 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 awesome. Creating engagement for the moment you get started. Because remember, you're talking to those replayers. Then as you're in your content, already know what questions you're going to ask them, what things you're going to engage with them, how you can pull them into your story and into your conversation. The more you can pull them in, the more they're going to stick around and they're just going to be like, oh my gosh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Write in notes, write in notes. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to tune into the next one that they do. That was really good. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm notified when she goes live. That's what you want, guys. And the more you make them part of your conversation, your training, your story, the more they're showing up. I guarantee you that. Then it's the call to action. Share this if you, if you got value. Um, you know, add a person to this group. If, if you have Facebook groups and you're doing lives in there or you're training, you know, add a friend today if you are getting value from what we're sharing in this group. There's always going to be a call to action. If you end a video without a call to action, they don't know what to do. They're probably not going to comment. They're not going to share. They're not going to like. They're not going to do anything because most people need a direction. So that is it, guys. That is how you go live with video content and create a way bigger impact than you are by just posting and putting graphics out there. So I hope you got a lot from this. Drop in the comments what you learned, what you're going to commit to doing, what you're scared to death to do, but you're going to do it anyways. I want to know, drop in the comments. Let's all work together. Let's all encourage each other. We all are or have been where you are right now. Share those fears, share those successes, share the small achievements, guys. That is what is exciting to me. And I know it'll encourage each and every single one of you as we come closer and closer as a strong knit community to impact each other, to impact millions with purpose driven content. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Check out the homework. You got it. You're going live. I have some ideas for you to go live on. I have some topic um, options or do whatever you want, but we're going to definitely go through that checklist of what to use, what to do during your live. So have a great day and we'll chat with you tomorrow on the fifth day of our five day mini challenge. And tomorrow's topic is on the follow up because you can have awesome post office, awesome graphics, killer videos. But if that fifth day called follow up isn't there, you're not building a business or creating an even bigger impact. So see you tomorrow.